Hey friends, welcome back. So in my last video, I had sat down to share this Bible journaling process video using Brave Little Tailors in Christ devotional cards. But then I ended up sharing the mini tag book that I made because I felt like I needed to wrap that up. So here's the rest of that video and we're just going to jump on in to the rest of that footage and start Bible journaling. So. I have been really enjoying using Taylor's In Christ devotional cards or daily scripture cards they're called. Um, if there are any physical cards left in the shop, I'll link them, um, but they are available digitally. So you could just print them out. The only difference is that you don't get the canvas bag that they come in. Also in the Illustrated Faith digital shop, the print and pray shop, there are some, is some ephemera. And I've been using these for each entry. Uh, so far Taylor scripted these and they're beautiful so I just keep them both in the same bag and I'm not working through these daily or anything like that just whenever I'm having like a moment of identity crisis I really like to pull these out uh, read through the scripture that Taylor lists on the back the the devotional thought on the front and then the little um, extras that she shares and so I don't creatively journal that every day. Instead, I just, um, oh, here's the next one that I, I'm working on. I just write it in um, my, like, quiet time journal, I guess. So I write down the scripture and all that stuff. It's really helpful to write it down, and then I pray, and I keep that all in my little notebook here. Some days, I do like to transfer that into my journaling Bible, and I'll show you what that looks like. I keep it really, really simple. And I wanted to do this in my illustrating Bible just because, just because. So I have kind of a little formula here. Having the, that helps me so I don't have to reinvent the wheel each time. And as you can see here, I just use that little uh, scripted piece that I had showed you a minute ago, um, a print and pray element, and then one of these um, little tabs from the Illustrated Faith Shop. I really like using these for everything. They're very handy. So this one, In Christ I Am Alive, and then on this page over here, In Christ I Am Loved, I just used what I had on my desk, some ephemera, distress inks, that scripted word, the little tab, and that's it. And so I'm thinking I'm going to do at least one um, here with you. I've done, I've worked through three cards in the last few days, and so I want to transfer that over into my Bible because I cleaned my boy's bathroom this morning. So <laughs> this Bible journaling time is my reward for um, cleaning the bathroom. So as far as supplies, I'll just share what I'm using as I'm using it so that we can go ahead and get started. So the card I'm journaling today says, I am a child of God. My father's delight is to provide for me and my delight is to trust him. So I'm flipping to Romans chapter eight, verses 14 and 16. That's one of the verses that Taylor includes on the back of the card, uh, along with John 1, 12 to 13 and 1 John chapter three, verses one and two. So I grabbed my word um, and the next few that I plan to use a index tab from Illustrated Faith, and these are my essentials. So these are what I'm using. Oh, and this word, Betty. Uh, this is what I'm using for every single In Christ entry that's in my Illustrating Bible. Like I mentioned, having these kind of like rails helps me keep things simple. I have a bin here of old kit pieces. So when I'm done with the kit, I just put um, those bits in that bin and I pull from it throughout the year, whatever. <laughs> and I thought that for this page, um, the Chasing Rainbows devotional kit ephemera that um, Vanessa Walker had uh, curated would be just really perfect for this. Bright and fun for summer and like kind of whimsical, all about documenting my status in Christ as a child of God. So I picked out some labels to use, the older again from last year, and I'm just going through my stamp binder here, my alpha stamp binder, to pick out an alpha stamp that's going to fit on that label and help round out the title that I've set up here. I am a child of God. So I'm just using some Stazon Jet Black Ink, my acrylic block, and these alpha stamps to stamp out that preposition of God, perfect fit, and I'll layer that underneath this adorable little smiley heart face and uh, Taylor's beautiful scripted word. I also have just some other random bits like this print and pray piece that's up at the top that was uh, just some digital 
ephemera, I think, that released around the same time as the Chasing Rainbows devotional kit. So what I love about using the In Christ cards is that I'm just using them when I really need them, when I need a good reminder, and I can use any products that I want with them. So I don't necessarily have to stick to the same look for the duration of that project. Um, I can just use what I want, and it like all coordinates. So that's why I really liked having these like scripted words from Taylor. They're just black and white printed on cardstock and super versatile. It can go with nearly anything, as you'll see here. I grabbed the Chasing Rainbows stencil. I'm just going to continue with this theme. <laughs> and uh, put my pen through there, and I didn't love it, so I'm going to cover it up in a little bit. But back to Romans. Uh, beginning in verse 14, chapter 8 says, For all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons and daughters, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. In Christ alone, we are children of God. So to reference those other two passages in John and 1 John, I'm using this Word Nerd stamp set that I love, um, and which is very dirty, still has a lot of black ink on it, <laughs> to note those other two passages with a coordinating pink ink. And then to kind of cover up this stencil situation at the bottom, I used my Studio Calico Mega Date stamp to get the date on the bottom. And then I'm just writing a little prayer here. And my prayer is for that childlike faith that Christ talks about in Matthew 19. Let the little children come to me, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these, those who are fully dependent on their father and not relying on themselves. So that's my prayer here. And then I'm using a little bit from the rainbow that I cut off at the bottom to um, create my tab up towards the top. And once I have that stuck down, I like to get it in place and then remove the like adhesive backing strips. Um, I'll go ahead and slide the little index label through there. And that's it. So I've got a finished look at my page here along with a couple of close-ups. Stay tuned for the very next uh, installment. I had a great Bible journaling session today. Created a few pages using these In Christ cards from Taylor. Uh, so I'll be sure to link that video and Taylor's card set in the video description below. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you soon.